views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The following audio is via a Skype call. When was the last time you did something that would take you closer to a life that you'd love? Get answers to this and many other life-changing questions on Grow Your Soul Radio. Ignite your inner magic and learn the art of life mastery with Jane Matanga. Jane will unlock and help you reclaim the magic in your life. Take an inspiring journey with Jane as you receive guidance toward the path of your greatest dreams and desires as she helps you reach success as you make powerful changes that will get you back on track and keep you there. Discover insightful tools, world wisdoms, and exercises in this hit call-in show. Transform and awaken your inner light right now on Grow Your Soul Radio. Yes, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I get to co-host Grow Your Soul Radio with Jane Matanga. Ignite your inner magic. Today, again, uh, as we did in the previous hour and the hour before that on Transformation Talk Radio, we are really kicking it up. And what does that mean? You know, we're going to talk with Jane about what it is that this energy is calling for now. You know, how to create the canvas of your life, what it means to never stop taking risks. And what about those agreements we make with ourselves? Does it mean anything if we don't really make them and pretend, live in that world of pretending? And then later on today, we're going to talk about what does it mean to create that action That action that is so important in our lives, you know, fail safe for so many of us. Now, Jane, for those of you that know who she is, then I'm just going to be telling you all the juicy things you already know. You know, somebody that has been for over three decades out there working with executives, training people, been part of large financial institutes, is now bringing a message, a message where she specializes in helping her clients develop deep, deep, deep self-awareness. You know, how is it that she's able to help folks bring that clarity, the positive change? How does she help them with that in their vision, in their aspirations, in their effectiveness in life? You know, whether you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I've got this job, eh, maybe not so much, but maybe there's some clarity that you need. Maybe this is what you want to, you know, you want to see what Jane can help you with about that. Whether it's Eastern, Western healing modalities, she has done those together, bringing them so far into the world, into our lives to create the beauty, the life mastery as the art of living well. And so when we think about that, what comes to mind is to join her on this enlightened path as you develop your own sense of self, you know, the self that comes from tapping that which is within to create positive change. Today on this show and the many shows we'll do together, we're going to explore how do you overcome those fears? How do you gain inspiration? And how do you turn that inspiration to perspiration to awakening? Jane, welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to have you here. We're kicking it up, aren't we? I'm so honored to be here. Um, it's, It's wonderful to be with you all. Mm. All right. I'm going to start. I got to get right out of the gate. Inner magic and inspiration, two of my favorite things. And, you know, people that know me pretty much will say, uh, honey, you've been living on another planet most of your life. And I used to be offended by that. But now I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. But it doesn't mean that because we have that inner magic, that inspiration, that we don't know how to live in the world. Tell us about what it means for us to become empowered to create our own canvas for our own lives. Um, the, the canvas for your life is really an overall philosophy. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is a, a way of thinking that empowers you and um, allows you to look at the big picture and think about how you act and the way you live your life. 
as a canvas. And so um, your thoughts create your reality, which creates how your life looks, feels, and, and it becomes your reality. So choosing happiness and living an inspired life is a way of life. It's an overall philosophy, and it's something that you need to keep in the back of your mind always 24-7. And um, Albert Einstein said there are two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, and the other is as though everything is a miracle. And we're choosing a miracle because, mm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love that that's so simple. Isn't that so simple? And yet at the same time, Jane, you work with people all over the world. That seems to be one of the hardest things to wrap our hearts around. You know what I mean? It's so true. It's so true. <laughs> yeah. It's so true. And it, and I think sometimes it is so it is so simple, but it does take work to keep it in the forefront of your mind, you know, and, and to have this knowing and believing and this power inside and a commitment. You know, it's a commitment to yourself. Oh, yeah. for your happiness, you know, and it, it's your approach and it becomes your approach in all aspects of your life. And it's powerful. It's a guidance system. And, uh, you know, it can be cultivated as, as uh, a real force in your life. So it is magic, you know, yeah. it's inspiration and it is for everyone. Like so many people think, you know, I can't do that. As, as you said, so so very well, you know, it, people think that this kind of life is not for them, that they think it's for, you know, creative geniuses and, and people who are mm -hmm. super, you know, well known and famous. And right. it isn't, you know, it's for everybody. Right. You know, I love this because this morning, OK, what is the headlines of the news? I'm not talking about the government either. The Oscars. The Oscars. And I was thinking to myself, as you know, you're watching this, this, this you know, what is it? The hubbub, right? About mm -hmm. it. And I'm thinking to myself as they're talking about the people, right? In the movies and so forth and so on. But in the conversation, everybody is so compelled to talk about the people that didn't make it, mm -hmm. right? As if what they've accomplished isn't enough. Now, I got to tell you, between you and me, I know Wonder Woman didn't make it. We knew Wonder <laughs> Woman wasn't going to make it as a movie. How do we know it? It didn't make it in any of the other categories. It doesn't diminish the impact that that canvas painted for us about the, the love and the superheroism all of us have, right? That's right. It's That's right. We all have that divine spark, that that inner light, then that inner knowing. It just gets veiled when we don't believe, you know, when we start thinking that there's conditions on our happiness and there's, you know, society, you know, when we get when you look at children, children are that's the inspiration for who we really are. And, you know, that's who we are at our core. All of us, you know, that joy, that unjudgmental knowing that we can do anything we want and the joy and happiness that we should all have in our life, despite anything that comes our way, because we have that inner knowing and that inner power, but it gets socialized out of us, you know, because we watch the TV, we start listening to that. We start listening to people that say, you know, in order to be successful, we need to do this. And we're not listening to our, our own inspiration and our own inner knowing. And we're not saying yes to our experience. I know you talk about this and you work with people all over the world, right? But, you you know, this idea of not saying yes to our own life experience, that which fulfills us, that which motivates us, is literally saying no to our joy. See, we don't get that by not like living in this place that you just described and creating this beautiful canvas, right? We don't get that without doing that, we're cutting something off. And that really is so painful sometimes when we cut off our good. Mm hmm Absolutely true. I mean, when we let our ego get involved um, mm. and, and it diminishes, you know, our inner knowing and, and who we are as as light and we're all light and we all have a divine birthright to be happy, successful, joyful, 
but it's not dependent on some condition or somebody's opinion of us or us pleasing others. You know, we can be our own beautiful magnificence. Everybody has a gift. We all do. We all signed up to come here to be that light. And, uh, you know, if we, if we remain true to that original light and nature, which is already whole and perfect, we don't need anything else. We just need to believe it. You know, it's just when we stop believing that we can do this, you know, anything we want that's in our thoughts. I mean, look at all the famous inventors in the world who created, you know, the the light bulb and energy and the airplane. I mean, they didn't let any doubt into their head at all. If right. they had, we would never have had any of these things. So it's getting back and and choosing that that knowing and our overall truth and choosing to um bring that to the world. Yeah. You know, um, we're going to take a short break because uh, when we come back, you know, buckle up, everybody. We're going to talk about what it means as Jane has done this and does it every day with folks. Ignite, unlock, and reclaim the magic in your life. And, you know, the ways that she does it is she works with people one-on-one. She has life mastery coaching, angel card readings. I'm hoping we're going to do a little bit of those today uh, and how to schedule a session with her. Because in the end, we're looking for help. You know, we have people that can help us, guide us along the way. You know, whatever that is that you are wanting to move forward, whatever that is that you're looking at that can clearly for you, unlock that thing, your inner magic and inspiration. This is the time. The time is now. You know, when we come back, we're going to talk about what it means to never stop taking risks. And we're going to give you lots of information as we enter the realm of possibilities. Stay tuned. Jane Matanga joining me here today. We're giving you lots of information. Hopefully we're going to open up them phone lines. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Integrate spirituality into your everyday lives on Universe Soul Heart Radio. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Kathleen Johnson explores the concept of sensible spirituality, keeping you grounded, connected, and centered on the path to wholeness. Kathleen has dedicated her life to facilitating holistic healing and wholeness in others. Listen to Universe Soul Heart Radio and learn how to flourish, grow, and impact all we do on planet Earth. For more information, go to universesoulheart.net. Now you can be a part of one of the most powerful programs to help create a more joyful, loving, abundant, and peaceful world. Every day at 12 noon in any time zone, join millions of other people around the world to spend a few minutes in joy, love, and gratitude. Brought to you by Robert Schoenfeld, host of the Art of Powerful Living Radio. Together, we can raise the vibration of the planet. For more information, visit globalmomentofjoy.com. What is a brilliant culture, and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. To find answers to life's questions, you need to look within yourself. Dr. Glenna Rice brings your questionable conversations on Transformation Talk Radio each month. Tune in each month for insight into how you can live up to your full potential. Dr. Glenna is a physical therapist, certified access consciousness, and access body class facilitator. How does it get any better than this? For more information on Dr. Glenna Rice and her work, visit GlennaRice.com. Are you ready to make deep, lasting, transformative changes? 
Then tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio for Susanna Jameson's hit show, Love Light Sound Radio. During her show, Susanna inspires and supports spiritually and health-conscious individuals all over the world to reconnect with their hearts, their inner peace, and balance. Love Light Sound Radio. Transformation happens here now. For more information, visit SusannaJameson.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm so thrilled. Today's show, yeah, Grow Your Soul Radio with Jane Matanga. Joining me here today, Ignite Your Inner Magic. Today, we're talking about what does it mean to ignite your inner magic and inspiration? And what is it about that, once we do that, that brings us to that place, that place that all of us are hungry and looking for? Sometimes we can define it. Sometimes we can't. Jane, before we jump ahead and we talk about never stop taking risks, okay? Um, first of all, how can people find out more about you and just give folks an idea of the work that you do with them? Um the work that I do with them is really um, intuitive and integrative life mastery, and it's all on an individual basis. Um, everybody's experience is, is so different, even though we all have common connection with um, life and our, you know, our highs, our lows, our, um, our dreams. So um, I, I use um, Eastern and Western um, philosophy and, and world, world wisdoms to, to really talk about thoughts and beliefs and all the great masters that were before us and uh, have so much to say to us at even today about, you know, how to live an inspired life and how to be happy and how to banish doubt and how to be fearless. And um, so I work on a one on one basis and, and, and everyone really is different. So all their unique challenges are different. And I you know, I look to what that is and then I approach it that way. But it, there's a lot of um, intuitive uh, information that also comes to me when I talk to them. So I have my team that comes mm. through and they tell me and um, and it's specifically for them. So it's it's a really wonderful thing to oh, be yeah. able to. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the things I love about this and the services that you provide for people is that when we think about our lives and we think about, you know, how is it that we can connect and connect with that thing we're talking about today, you know, that uniqueness. Um, one of the things I love about what you do is that you help us see that the journey is about us. You know, even though we're affected by outside circumstances, you know, the journey is about us. You know, whether you're doing an angel card reading, which we're going to do on the next show, by the way, um, personal coaching, couples coaching, all of the above, you know, you bring to the forefront that special piece of us, which is our journey. And that really kind of leads to what we're talking about next. You know, sometimes we wake up. And the idea, Jane, of taking a risk is so far beyond anything we can see in our, in our consciousness. And boy, can that be a showstopper, that level of fear. But more than fear, it's doubt. It's that thing that you talk about. We were too dang afraid to take the leap of faith. That's so, so true. I want, it. I want to know from you, Jane. <laughs> you got to help me here. <laughs> well, Marianna Williamson said our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. And it's our light, not our darkness that frightens us. So and I and I believe that to be true. Uh, we I think we're powerful beyond measure, but um, we are afraid sometimes to step out of that comfort zone and to trust. And it's it's the thoughts that that create the reality. So you have to get a hold of that and be fearless and take that leap of faith 
and do what Eleanor Roosevelt says. You have to do what what you're afraid of the most, because in that is the lesson. And the only way through, uh, you know, around, about or anywhere is through your fear. And that's how you get to the other side. And that's what teaches you, you know, whether it was courage so that you could be fearless or whatever your lesson was in that moment. So, you know, I, the, the taking risks is huge because if you don't take a risk, you have no momentum and you stay stuck, you know? So where does your happiness come from then? The happiest people are, and the most successful people in life are happy because no matter what their circumstances are, they believe in themselves. They have that inner knowing, that inner light, and they never let that dim. And they, despite any of the obstacles in their life, their mindset says they can do it. And because their mindset says that, they can. So their belief is that powerful, you know, that they can be happy and, and see more possibilities and be more inspired, you know, so it's all in your mind, you know? Um, you know, this is really for many people. I think this is one of the most important bottlenecks that we see both energetically, Jane, and also physically and interaction. And, you know, here's where we are. What does a risk look like? Let's have this conversation for a minute. Okay. So when I was homeless, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. When I was in my teens and I was homeless, the risk for me wasn't that I was homeless. The risk, and I remember this, was I had to ask for help. Okay, let's just talk about that for a minute. Because when we say risk, some people listening to this say, oh, they're not talking about me. I'm never going to skydive. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how you look and meet people exactly where they are. Mm -hmm. So back in the day, it was me taking a risk, learning how to say, you know what? I don't have any food. I don't have any water. I don't have any money. Would you mind giving me your money? Okay. Now, today in the world we live in, we even hesitate, Jane, to ask the universe for what we want and take a risk and a leap of faith to get it. How many times have you seen that in the people you work with? And how can we learn new ways of taking risks and asking? You have to choose focus over obsessing. There's a difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good one. It, yeah. When you, when you focus on what you want and what you want your life to be, that dream, you know, that what that vision of what you have, what you want in your life, that's uplifting and hopeful. When you obsess and you concentrate and you waste all that energy on worry and obsessing about what it's not going to look like. It's not going to happen. You know, this person doesn't believe in me and that person, you know, those are all fearful and they all lead to unhappiness. It's not forward momentum. So you need to go to places that make you happy. That's where your inspiration comes in and do everything that you can to make where you are a happy place. And you go to those places and you kick the, your ego off your shoulder and you, you stay there. You just get very mindful because you know how powerful your mind can be. And if that's what you focus your attention on, that's what you're going to have in your life. So choosing the focus over obsessing and worry is, you know, how you, how you live a happier and more fulfilling and more uplifting life. That's how you get over the yeah. challenge. Yeah, I love that we're talking about this. And, you know, I shared a couple of examples. I want to talk with you about this as well. You know, I shared the example of my stepmom, you know, with this uh, um, uh, 5,467 promises, right? That thing. And it became a number for me. My mother never did tell me where they were or if it was accurate or any of that. And so what happened was this became a focus for me. Why? Why did it become a focus? Because if you're me, as many people are today, or if you were me, there's something that you feel is not working in your life. Let's just say it. Something 
Now, I'm not saying that you're going to go on a journey to five thousands of promises, you know, wherever you're going to find them. But for a lapse in for a moment of time in my life, a period of time, my focus was to focus on them. How do we get and help people choose that 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 what seems to be that elusive thing to focus on, especially when we wake up in the day and fear pops up its gnarly head (laughs) and says, I am center stage Jane Matanga. It's me. The fear. Yeah, that's a showstopper. It is. Yeah, <laughs> it's a showstopper. It is. Uh, it stops you in your tracks. Um, you have to be, have the courage to be yourself without regard to any of those voices, with, re, without regard to anybody else's opinion and rewrite your agreement with yourself and with reality or the reality that you think you know. So the power is in your imagination and in your inspiration. And by reconsidering your agreement with reality, um, you have no limits then because the only limits that you're putting, you know, on your life are, are what you believe. So if you're open and if you can open up to your imagination and your inspiration, then it's boundless and limitless and, uh, consider what, so many of us are capable of doing. And when we've walked through that fear, mm-hmm. what we have been able to accomplish, you know, uh, in our lives. So the key is banishing doubt. Doubt is a showstopper and allow yourself the, the privilege of living your dream. Um, that's, that's really the only way to do it. Yeah. 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 And I love this because part of this in the work that you do is, first of all, identify where obsession is uh, worrisome in our lives, what we're doing with that. And most most importantly, how that leads to unhappiness pretty much every time. And, and, you know, then our stories. When we come back, we're going to talk with Jane about these stories. What are the stories we tell ourselves? What are the lessons we learn from them? And how does that inspire us, direct us, guide us? Create, to create the magic and the power of our inspiration and our imagination in the agreements we make. So are we going to make an agreement with ourselves that we will never be a blank, blank, blank? So this is our 15th year uh, doing the Dr. Pat show, formerly known as Cross Busting Your Way to an Awesome Life. I was told in my first three months doing the show that I would probably last maybe 15 minutes, my 15 minutes of fame would be over. And I was told that by another show host. What I know, talking to all you today, you believed and I borrowed your faith for years. And I want to say that 15 minutes turned into 15 years. When we come back, what are the agreements that we'll make with ourselves? How will Jane help us do that? And if you do not have the faith to take that risk, please borrow my faith in you. We'll be right back. Hi there. This is Audrey Michelle, host of Rewired Life Radio. If you've listened to the show, you know I talk a lot about listening to your body. Here's the deal. Listening to your body takes quieting your mind, and I want to teach you how. Actually, we're going to start right now. Take a deep breath, a truly deep breath, all the way to the top of your inhale, and then exhaling to the very bottom of your belly, breathing, feeding your body the oxygen and fuel it needs. This is the first step in listening to your body. There's more but it's so easy. I want to share a quick meditation with you to help you instantly reconnect with yourself and listen to your body. Simply go to AudreyMichelle.com slash tips and download it for free today. That's Audrey Michelle spelled M-I-C-H-E-L dot com slash tips. Choose the new earth on the Cornelia Stephanie show. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio as Cornelia takes listeners on an odyssey of higher consciousness to inspire, educate, and empower. 
Cornelia guides people on the path of self-healing, peace, and liberation. The Cornelia Stephanie Show is your catalyst for anchoring heaven on earth on a global scale. For more information, go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, the Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio. Featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call-in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net. Tune in each Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. Who's ready to rock 2018? Want expert assistance to ground and clear your energy and raise your vibration? Hi, I'm Wendy Rose Williams, Certified Spiritual Teacher. Call 425-502-0362 to schedule your free 15-minute consult to learn how a one-hour soul wisdom healing session, full-day regression healing, or 90-day energetic boot camp can help you with the next big thing. Visit wendyrosewilliams.com to plan your magic carpet ride with me. Your happiness is your choice on Natural Peace Radio. Follow Sarah Van Ryswick as she addresses the power of emotions. Each month, Sarah covers different topics as she helps listeners activate their energetic spark and create powerful energy and amazing opportunities. Manifest your desires with Natural Peace Radio. For more information on Sarah and her work, visit naturalpeaceliving.com. Are you traveling most of your day? Do you want to take Transformation Talk Radio with you anywhere you go? Well, guess what? There's an app for that. Just go to the App Store on your Apple device or the Google Play Store on your Android and search Transformation Talk Radio. Catch all of our live shows no matter where you are. Thanks for listening. that <laughs> so much well, oh man jane matanga and me <laughs> and benny and all of you and i'm telling you this is how to kick up this year uh wait to hear what we're going to talk about your agreement with yourself yep that's when you're doing the agreement with yourself and if you think that this is ah, oh, there she goes again eh, no This is one of the most powerful things you're going to hear out of us this year. And boy, am I being faced with that right now. Many of you as well, you're calling into the show. And and by the way, I know you called um, uh, our other studio in Bothell. We are sending you a book. All is well. You know, I'll tell you what, all is good in the hood. And this is why. Your agreement with yourself. Jane Matanga joining me here today. Now, listen, before we get into this. I want you to also make sure folks know how to call you, how to schedule a session, um, how to find you on the internet, all of the above. And then the next show we do together, we're going to do live on air reading. So yeah, boy. woo! It's going to be fun. Yep. Uh, website, right? Uh, yep. Enlightened-path.com. Did I get that right? Yes. Enlightened-path.com. Uh, the phone numbers, area code 203-631. Four two seven five, and um, I am very responsive to messages that I get. I I get right back in touch with you. So, yeah, yeah, because we're kind of from the East Coast, and we don't believe in keeping people waiting for stuff. You know what I mean? I think that's one of the many, many gifts I learned from growing up um, on the East Coast. People say, how did you grow up there, Pat? And one of the things I learned is how to be super responsive to people. And the reason I've learned that is because the pace is so fast that if you blink, it's like watching the family feud game. 
you like get run over. Family <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Now I really have a hot flash. Yes, you do <laughs> get run over. Um, but more than that is there are opportunities that show up and you want to be ready for them. Um, this is the conversation about an agreement with yourself. One of the things that I'd love to talk with you about is this notion of making agreements with ourselves. We have these big visions, Jane, and we have to have an agreement. But then we may have some smaller order goals. All of it needs agreement work, doesn't it? It does. You you have to live beyond doubt and you have to give yourself the freedom to live a limitless life and rewrite that agreement, uh, especially when it's not working for you because uh, it's what you believe uh, that's what shows up in your life and that's what you see. And so when you banish your doubts, it's powerful. And when you use your imagination and your inspiration, you can go miles beyond any kind of ordinary thinking. Um, and the world becomes your canvas for the life you want to create. Then you can create anything. There's nothing that stops you other than your thoughts. You know, you can't mm-hmm. buy a bucket of doubt. You can't buy, you know, um, a bucket of fear, you know, that's mm-hmm. all something that we create in our heads. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, you know what I love about this? Um, once upon a time, I was like a kid. I was, once upon a time, I was actually a child. <laughs> I think I'm still a little bit a child. <laughs> but one of the things I loved about uh, my childhood experience, which is, you know, when people hear my childhood story, they're like, oh, my God, how did you even live that? I don't really see it like that. One of the things I did was I bounced around from relative to relative because my mom was really sick and ultimately she took her life. And I loved in Manhattan, right on the east side, I loved getting out there on them fire escapes and I would spend many nights on the fire escape. And one of the things that I did was I made an agreement with myself that while I'm on that fire escape and I'm looking out at the vastness that someday I would experience the world. See, I didn't stay in the small apartment with cockroaches and 10 other people. I went outside and I made an agreement with myself on that fire escape that I would that I would experience the amazement of the world. I didn't even know what that was, Jane. And I would love for you to help us, no matter where people are right now listening. And if you have a question or need some help with a big agreement, 1-800-930-2819. Call us right now, 1-800-930-2819. And I looked out to the vastness and the odds of me actually ever getting out of New York, it wasn't a reality. But I did. And here we are today. What have you discovered about how we can cultivate the power of our thoughts to guide our agreements? It's an unwavering belief. You Mm. know, it's an an unwavering belief in your ability to create the life of your dreams, the life that Mm -hmm. you want and that you deserve it and you deserve it all. Um, You need to keep track of your dreams and then work at eliminating any conditioned beliefs, you know, one of the problems that we run into is habitual thinking. And so when we go, it's like having a cup of coffee, you know, we just do it automatically. Or when we lose our keys, you know, it's because we have this routine that we go into and we're not thinking, we're not mindful. So when you can become mindful and be in your present moment and, and be aware, it's the awareness of what's going through your head and eliminate those doubts and your mental conditioning and believe that you are capable of doing anything that you can conceive, uh, then you eliminate the impossibility and you eradicate the word impossible in your consciousness. I mean, you're literally rewriting your agreement with reality when you do that so that you are saying to yourself, I'm capable, anything I can think of, conceive of, I can... I can have, I can bring that to life if I choose to do that. And so when you live more in your imagination and you give yourself the freedom 
and the fearlessness to go into that unfamiliar, a little scary territory and allow yourself to explore that possibility, excluding nothing, you know, then those exercises that you go through, and if you keep practicing that, it becomes more and more familiar, becomes more and more a catalyst for Mm -hmm. a much more unlimited life. So your imagination and your inspiration is key. Just like your body, uh, you know, uh, needs exercise, you need to exercise that capacity. And it grows through exercise, you know, and you have to use it. And that's the awakening, you know. So, you know, it's very powerful. Yeah. You know, I want to talk about fast forward to today, you know, because I'm not a child anymore. And many of our listeners, I'm pretty sure, although I do, uh, I have heard from our listeners that their their young children do listen when they listen. Um, and uh, 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 yeah, I even want to tell folks that one of our listeners shared a story with me that her young daughter called her husband, Dr. Pat. And I said, OK, then <laughs> I think that's a lot of Dr. Pat that that youngster is getting. Um, but the, here's the thing. We want to live an amazing life. I know we do. You know, by the very nature of being born into the world and having no tools that we can think of except for crying. And yet the minute we come in the world, we don't think about the fact, wait a minute, I'm hungry. I may not get what I eat. We just know we're hungry. How can we help people today look at these agreements that we create with ourselves that are limited? And literally stop and rewrite these agreements with the essence of pure reality of possibilities. Let's take a short break. We come back. Jane's going to walk us through how we can rewrite our agreements. How do we do that? How do we do that? How do we believe? How do we trust? And how do we banish our doubts forever? Yep. Get them out of the way. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Jane Matanga joining me here today. I'm Dr. Pat. We'll be right back. The knowledge book currently studied in 39 countries and 15 languages around the world accelerates our evolution, takes us out of depression, offers universal truths, protects us, and makes us stronger, both spiritually and physically. So if you are interested in the knowledge book, visit usa.thenowledgebook.net and tune in to the knowledge book radio with Marge Potasic on transformationtalkradio.com. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com. Or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-6463. Mind. On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, a.m. 1150, and Transformation Talk Radio. Are you your story? Or can you change your story? Can you change what you believe to be true about yourself and your circumstances as part of your healing journey? What if you were to change your expectations? What if you were to invite ease and cooperation into every day? 
and then step back and see what happens. It might just be easier. I'm Megan Edge, and I hope that you'll join me on my new radio show, Playing on the Edge, Radical Change with Ease, with my co-host, Dr. Pat, on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. Want to find out more about Megan Edge? Visit her website at meganedge.ca. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Jane Matanga joining me here today. You know, Jane, one more time, website for people to find out more about you. And then let's take a look at this idea of, of, of how do we rewrite our agreements with reality? Again, website, how can people schedule a session with you too, it, please? It's, a, it's enlightenedpath.path.com dash path.com. And the phone number is 203-631-4275. Awesome. And, uh, awesome. Right. and they can also write to me at info at enlightened-path.com. Okay. So let's talk about rewriting our stories and rewriting our agreements. And you've got some great examples. We were talking before, uh, and I was talking a little bit about Margot Robbie and scoring an Oscar uh, nomination and, and totally just cried, just cried, 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 cried. And, you know, this is a woman that pretty much, you know, you look at her and it's like, you know what, you're you, it's like Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, my God, you're like way too pretty for anybody to take you serious in a serious role. And, you know, there are those stories that all of us are told, maybe not that exact one, but we're just told them. Help us rewrite these. Help us. Uh, uh, several examples of banishing doubt. Uh, you know, it's really you have to uh, banish all of those thoughts that come into your head. And that's how you rewrite your agreement. Because if you believe that, you, you have no forward momentum. Your life looks very, very different. And your canvas of your life looks very different. So an example of banishing doubt was Meryl Streep, for example, she went into audition after audition, and she was told she was too ugly for the part. If she believed any of that for one moment, she would never be where she is today. She had a knowing, an inner knowing, and a trust in her nature and her ability and her gift to the world of her amazing acting ability. Charles Schultz, the famous cartoonist, a lot of people don't know this about him, he was very unique. He was awkward, but he had this light, but he had difficulty fitting in. He failed in school. He failed at golf. He, he failed in athletic abilities, but he had an inner light. They would call him Sparky because he, he had this beautiful light and lightness about him, and he just never let any of the naysayers interfere with that light. He submitted work to Disney several times and was rejected and he kept at it because he believed in his dream. And one day he succeeded because he believed and he wouldn't allow that doubt, that limiting belief or inhibiting belief into his head. And his character, Charlie Brown is not what people think it was. You know, they think it was the relationship with his son, but it isn't Charlie Brown's character symbolize all of Charles Schultz's triumphs over his challenges in his life, his undaunting sense of humor, his um, lightness, and his ability to create his dreams. So, you know, those are just some examples of people out there who, despite odds that were against them or seemingly against them, they wouldn't allow that light inside to go out. You know, so by eliminating your conditioned beliefs about any impossibility and eradicating that from your mindset, you can rewrite your agreement with reality. And so anything that you conceive of is possible when you don't allow that into your head. You know, you exclude nothing. 
Yeah. And you, yeah, you keep at it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, let's talk about how we can start exactly where we are. Uh, and if you're listening to this and you're saying, wow, those people are incredible. But if you start exactly where you are and you make a decision today, you know, with Jane and with with me about I'm going to sit down and I'm going to begin to rewrite my agreement. I'm going to try something different. And what I learned about this, you know, not everyone can take a giant leap, but you don't have to take a giant leap. I think what we're asking folks to do is borrow a little faith or a lot of faith and take a leap, period, one step and take one doubt at a time. You know, how about the doubt? You're not smart enough. I grew up with that. I stuttered most of my teenage years. You know, people wanted to pay my 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 teachers in high school, so they wanted to pay them off so I would graduate. And, you know, if I would have bought into a belief of not being able to do anything in the world or or have a dream about anything in the world, that's actually what my life would have been. So I, I wanted to talk with you about eradicating the word impossible from our consciousness, because I really do believe that that word uh, is not just a showstopper. It's a dream killer. It is. It's totally a dream killer. And if you look at the word, it's it says impossible, but when you read it, it's I'm possible. Yep. So that's what you turn it around to, you know, I'm possible. And I'm capable of anything I conceive that I want to do, the life I want to live, uh, the the job, whatever that looks like for you, that you can bring that to life if you choose. You know, it's choosing that. Instead, because to me, there isn't an, an alternative, you know, what's what's the other choice? You're not going to live your life the way you want to, the way it looks, the way it feels and the way your inner knowing and your inner light looks and feels that to me, that's not a choice. That's not the happiest life and the best life that you can live. And, well, Jane, I, I mean, you and I are going to spend so much great time together on air. And I think that what you just pointed to right there is really calling to the forefront the option of living an amazing life. And beginning with that thought, you know, I deserve an amazing life and I desire an amazing life. And you're the one, Jane, that helps people get there. Thank you so much for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One last question. What's your personal message what would you like to leave us with today? And thank you so much for all that you do. So it's my honor to be here. In many ways, I've enjoyed it all. I, I would leave you all with this thought. Awakening is not changing who you are, but discarding what you are not. And that is something that Deepak Chopra writes about. And uh, I will leave you with that thought. So discarding what you are not. Mm. I love it. For those of you who choose tuning in or tuning in at the tail end of this, of course, this show will play again. Uh, I'm Dr. Pat. You've been listening to Grow Your Soul Radio with my co-host, Jane Matanga, joining me here today, Ignite Your Inner Magic. And today, there was a ton for you to say yes to, because when it comes to inner magic and inspiration, it's all you. It's all yours. Thanks, Jane. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Benny, thanks for pushing all the right buttons. Thanks, and, Benny. Yeah, Benny. And thank you all out there for being the best listeners on the planet. Yep. Guess what? Another hour on Transformation Talk Radio coming up right now. You've been listening to Grow Your Soul Radio with Jane Matanga on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope you'll join us next week as Jane helps you unlock and reclaim the magic in your life. For more information on Jane Matanga or to listen to past shows, visit her website at enlightened-path.com or growyoursoulradio.com. And don't forget to ask Jane about her amazing intuitive life mastery session. See you next time. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.